Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we're going to discuss trinomials. What trinomials mean is that we have three terms. Now, in order to do trinomials, you must be very, very comfortable with the concept of multiplying and dividing of signs and with the concept of adding and subtracting of signs. If you are not comfortable with these two rules of multiplication and division of signs and addition and subtraction of signs, then go to our previous videos called Common Errors where we have discussed the signs. Okay, when we are multiplying and dividing, a plus times a plus is equal to a plus, minus times a minus is equal to a plus, minus times a plus is equal to a minus, and plus times a minus is equal to a minus. Yet when we are adding or subtracting, if we say plus plus it's equal to a plus, but when we say minus minus it is equal to a minus. When we say minus and a plus, depending on which one is bigger, will depend on the answer. Right. If you are not familiar with us, again, please go and refer to our previous videos where we had discussed common errors and multiplication and division and posi positive and negative of signs. When you are doing trinomials, the first step is to look at the last term. So your first step is actually to look at the last term. The last term sign is important because it's a positive. You know you have two choices. You have a positive and a positive or negative and a negative because the last term is created by the multiplication of the two last terms in your brackets, which means that you have two choices, plus and plus or minus and minus. Now, the second term is the deciding factor on what you keep. If I've got a multiplication of negative and negative, it's giving me a positive. And if I got a multiplication of a positive and a positive, it will give me a positive. But when I am adding, I need to get the second term, which means that my answer needs to be a positive. So <clears throat> you will notice that when I used a positive and positive, I got two options. You will see that the option for the last term must work for the option in the second term. Now, if we had plus and plus for the last term, then it works for the first and second row. But what gives me a positive 5? Only the first row, plus and plus, which means my brackets is going to be plus and plus. You need to work on your signs because they are the ultimate way to do trinomials. And trinomials is the biggest section in your matric paper. Every section that you're going to do in matric ends or rounds off or completes by doing trinomials. Whether it's geometry, analytical, trigonometry, calculus, everything ends up with trinomials. Now, let us practice on this. I know my answer is now going to be a plus and a plus. I know that the first term is going to be x times x. The reason you know that is because when we are doing these questions, we are only working with 1. So at all times in this section, we're going to have 1x times 1x. Later we will change this rule, but you will find that in our upcoming videos. Now let's work with 6. 6 can be broken down into 1 times 6 or 3 times 2. Now we know both of them, both these numbers are going to be positive. Now what happens when I add it? 
1 plus 6 is equal to 7. 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. I want a 5. So the answer I'm going to take is 3 and 2. Right. Let's do another example. I'm giving you x squared minus 5x plus 6. Now, if we look at our brackets to determine our signs, we're going to look at the last term. The last term is a positive, which means that in our multiplication and division rules, I have two options. Both brackets can be positive or both brackets can be negative. Now to decide the winning signs, we go to the second term. The second term is minus. Now which one of the two options from multiplication and division is going to work for addition and subtraction? I want a minus as my answer. The only one that works is minus minus. So that tells me that my brackets are going to be both minus minus. I know I'm going to have x in the first bracket and x in the second bracket. Now how do I decide which numbers? We're going to do the multiples We're going to do the multiples of 6. 3 and 2. 3 times 2 is equal to 6. We know both are going to be minus. Both numbers are going to be minus. Which one is going to equal to minus 5? This equals to minus 7. This equals to minus 5. So I'm going to go with 3 and 2. A good way to check it is to remember your smells in the kitty cat. Minus 3x. And the big smile, minus 2x, and then we are adding, so we end up with minus 5x. And that works, because we've got minus 5x. And then, if you still want to check again, you can see your sign. Minus and minus must equal to plus. Let's do a third example. If I give you x squared, minus 5x minus 6. Now, if you look at our last term, our last term has a minus, which means that our bracket can be either minus and plus, or it can be plus and minus. Okay, now we're going to look at the second term. At the second term, we have two options. We need a negative now, for, now, which one will win? We know which two are winning in the first round. Minus times plus is equal to minus. Plus times minus is equal to minus. But when we are adding or subtracting which one is winning, we need a negative, which means that the bigger number must be a negative. Now, let's work with the multiples of 6. We know it's going to be 1 and 6, and we know it's going to be 3 and 2. We also know that the bigger number is going to be negative. So in the first one, it's going to be negative 6. In the second one, it's going to be negative 3. Which one will give me an answer of negative 5? 1 minus 6 is negative 5, and negative 3 positive 2 is going to give us negative 1. So the one that is winning is the positive 1 and negative 6. How do we write our answer? We know the first term in each bracket is x. We have a positive in one bracket and we have a negative in the second bracket. We have 1 uh, with the positive and we have 6 with the negative. Now to double check your answer. 1 times x is 1x and the big smile is minus 6x. 1 minus 6 is equal to minus 5x. Okay, you can also double check by using your sign and seeing that plus and minus must give you a minus. 
Thank you for watching this video.